everybody, uh, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with a jewelry bag on bagging. Um, <laughs> don't mind me, I was about ready for bed, but I just had um, all day, I was kind of doing stuff, and so is my husband and my daughter. She's cleaning a room all day, so I just figured I would get on, and uh, to me, it's relaxing to kind of do a jewelry jar video with you guys and I have a couple that I still have to edit and so I figured going live would be the easiest thing. Hi Dawn! I know you're never you never get to be on my live so I did one in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey Flip and Hustler, Darlene, hopefully the lighting's okay. Um, yeah, I know. It's been a while. Hey, Cindy. Flippin' Hustler. Yeah, hopefully the lighting's okay. If not, I'll move it. I didn't want it to be right in my face because it looked like I was in the middle of an interrogation. But, I don't know. I figured I'd just go live. Have fun. My daughter comes down. She doesn't know I'm live, so that'll be funny. And my husband does know. Hopefully he will have clothes on if he comes back here and says hi. You never know. <laughs> Just kidding. He knows. So this one was 10 bucks. I figured I'll come chat with you guys and there's something in here that I think my husband will want. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves to you. have fun watching the auction. Um, John always has some really fun stuff. So these ones aren't that full. I have some other ones from this Goodwill that are like mega full. So what are you guys doing tonight? Anything fun? Did you do anything fun for, for Saturday? I did not. All right. Here is a little tiny... Uh, bracelet doesn't look too bad doesn't look too good but you know just kind of plain I like being back here better than uh, being in my husband's back room where I'm the most comfortable so his laptop is like so heavy yeah my husband's watching football too that's why I didn't care that <laughs> I grabbed his, his laptop and was like I'm gonna go is is Joan done? I um I don't always get notifications for everybody, so I don't know. You know, and um it's a good thing, but you know, our group has kinda kind of, you know, grown a lot, so there's a lot of us. Um there's just one of those like Catholic type uh, necklaces. I don't know what they're called. I think this is the Virgin Mary. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I just, there's so many of us, which is lovely. Um, but it's starting to get, like, impossible not to go live when other people go live. It's like, um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So this is a stretchy bracelet. I was liking it in a second. I know. I don't know what it is. I think I forget to hit the bell on everybody's. Um, there's some wear on this, though. It's stretchy. But, yeah, it's good. Some more people to get to know. Which is fun, I think, and everybody's given it a bit of a try, which I encourage. Right, Don, it's easier than it, you know, it's easier than you'd think. These are little black cameos. <laughs> I've seen you on a, oh, by the way, that would help. One's a pin and two of screw back earrings are together. I've seen you in a couple chats. I, I like to listen to people. I, like I said, I was really trying to get the jewelry off of my table. Um, so that is what I was trying to do today. 
Oh, I missed I missed that too. Jeez. I I think I have I definitely have to hit the uh, notification bell for Mike's channel because I I thought I did though. I must not have. So there's this guy. Ooh, let's see if you can see it. This one's kind of fun. Hey, Lily. Oh, see, now it likes the back. There we go. Isn't that cute? I like that one. 20 minutes of the auction or Roland, Roland show. I don't like these. I don't know. There's something about fabric in these jars because I know how dirty they are. Like, I would alcohol stuff before wearing it. So I definitely don't want to <laughs> wear anything with fabric. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, the other one you're probably saying. The lobster claw. You know, I have actually seen more wooden jewelry, like, out and about. Oh, that's fun. Cindy, I'm sure you did a good job. I'll have to, to watch. Like I said, I like watching these things when I'm doing other things, um, multitasking. But I have seen wooden jewelry in, in the stores lately. So that makes me wonder if it's coming back. It almost seems like it, it is. But because this is a lobster claw clasp, so it's probably newer. But also the shade of orange, right? What do you think? Is the shade of orange coming back? This is super, like, would match my avocado green in my uh, kitchen. Awesome. Good job then, Cindy. That's awesome. I know I want to get back into doing more of the live shows. It's fun with um, other people. I always think that is fun. Let's see, I don't think there's any stones missing in this one. It's kind of cute. I like the color too. I have not yet. I have it. It's actually downstairs hanging up for me to wear. It seems very long is the only thing, Don. I'm very short. <laughs> so I got to try it. I got to try it on. I should have worn it for you tonight. I knew you were going to be on. I think this is the one that I think Jimmy got a new cap pin because he's got one very similar to this, but not, not exactly. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Oh, there we go. It's a JJ. And the fishies are colored on this one. So how cute is that? And these are like 20 bucks by themselves. Um, I don't know the polyester cuts very well, Dawn. So these are like 20 bucks by itself, you know, for that pin. So cat pins ain't cheap. My husband. Also, so Jennifer, I just finished putting your stuff in a, uh, what's the word? A flat rate envelope. So it will be on its way to you Monday. So, and anything you don't like, feel free to donate, sell, um, craft with, whatever. But I thought it would be fun for you to kind of have like a, almost like a jewelry bag experience. So this is a clip-on. Wow, really likes this a lot. 
and they're signed on the back, Lisner. So those are cute. They're a very nice, nice shape. Hey, Adam. Hey, you guys have a fun show too. You and uh, Anita. This is a scarf clip. Anyway, hey, if anyone ever wants to come on in with me and have fun while I'm doing this, I have a, I have been very bad in not scheduling anything and just kind of going with it. But, uh, you know, feel free. I'll give you the link. SQ. Oh, psycho, psycho. I think I am forever going to mispronounce that. Um, so that's what this one looks like. Let's see when it starts to like this guy. Oh yeah, the gumballs are really cute. This one actually seems like it's in pretty good shape. There's actually, there's somewhere to the gold back here. Uh, it's S-E-I-K-O, Seiko, I think. Uh, somebody phonetically spelled it for me before, and I forgot. It was pretty washed, though. It's really heavy. Yeah, they're not, <laughs> like, there are some fun things in there. There's some things that you might not like, but, you know, there's a little mix of both, probably. It's a Casio watch. This this uh, looks kind of eighties to me. Oh, Casio. That's what I meant. Did I say that? I don't even know. This doesn't look like the watch band that would go with it, though. <laughs> I don't know. This watch band looks really like thin <laughs> for this like digital watch. I don't know. A psycho. <laughs> a psycho watch. I wonder what that would look like. That might be fun. And this Sarah Coventry brooch. I think everybody has gotten these. Uh, this particular brooch. Yeah, the necklace is really pretty. And the ne necklace looks even prettier in person, so I know you'll like that. This one's cute. <laughs> Psycho watch. Yeah, I put them in a bag. I don't know what I'm going to do with all the creepy vases. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. Isn't that cute? It's a little butterfly pin. No markings. Here, I'll pick out why I bought it. This is why I picked this one up. This is 10 bucks. I like the, the amber. These are little amber beads. And they like, they feel super plasticky, you know, in case you don't know what amber feels like, it almost feels like something you just throw in the, throw away. Feels really weird. Here we go. But I think it's really cool. And it's a very fall. So like every time we get our pictures done, I, I like wearing amber because it's very fall. So I love those. Oh, really, Cindy? I have um, so many. Oops, <laughs> I'm kicking my light. I hope it's not buffering. Mine did like ones. Oh, that's a really strong magnet on this guy. No markings. Whoa. <laughs> Let's get this. 
That's so weird. It's like a safety clasp on a magnetic clasp. How weird is that? <laughs> hey, you never know. Got to find what works, right? You'll find you'll figure something out. I honestly don't take mine with me cuz I can like I've gotten better at spotting things. But then I end up, because I don't bring my loop or anything either, because, you know, you don't always want to call attention. Oops. Sorry, guys. Don't always want to call attention to yourself, and uh, especially places I go to all the time. So I don't like bringing my loop or anything. He creates a card. You know, it's funny. Um, I tell people that they should watch your channel. Because you find the weirdest things that are worth really decent amounts of money. This is really pretty. It um is it was marked West Germany. There we go. I thought this is really cool. I mean, sometimes trolls are people we know, Dawn. I think this one's cool. It could. I was talking to my husband about, like, what was it? The weird compressors for scuba gear you got? And the army men and stuff like that? This is a really boring circle brooch. I don't know what to do with the circle brooches we get. I didn't bring my loop, but it's signed on the back, but nothing that I know here. Um, no, I know. But it's weird because some, some of the places don't sell a lot of the jewelry and others do. I wish my camera had like a fo actual focus on it. It just does what it wants. There's like a cross on this. There we go. Almost. Almost. <laughs> this is not, this is not a cheap one either. Have fun at work, Dawn. Oh, and it opens and says something. Something collection. I don't know. It is a locket. It's a locket brooch. Never quite seen one of those. My butt's going to fall asleep, guys. I love my carpet down here but it's like it is not comfy my rug oh that's cute clip on can't tell what it's what it says probably coro or something So, is anyone else doing anything next week? Any shows that I should be aware of then? This is super cheapy. Or anyone got any um, fun videos coming up that I don't want to miss? You guys can tell each other who's all got channels to come say hi. I got, I got one for you. He's dressed like Hugh Hefner. You just look like the ghost of Christmas past or something right now. Well, I don't have a head. Um, or a top of a face. I didn't really see my eyes. <laughs> I found
on this one for you. Ooh. That's fun. Is that big light? No, they're just painted. Jimmy learned what Bakelite was. What Bakelite was? Because I told you. And then I gave him a bracelet. That's very manly. I know how boss I am. It's like, uh, what, is it, what is that called? The metal, cord cable? Metal. And it looks like screws. It's pretty manly. Hello, <laughs> everybody. All right, I'm going to bed. Because I've been up since five. Good night, Good night everybody. Step too late. I'll buy anything. From myself? Don't buy yourself. Then there is this little watch. Night, Cindy. I don't know what it is. Oh, the thingy's broken. That's why. It, it is cold. Uh, it's getting really cold. I like daylight savings time because I get to sleep in an extra, extra hour. But, oh, my goodness. It's going to be so hard to take photos. Hi, Darlene. We know, we know Casey. We all, we all love him. And by extension, you as well. This is a Carlisle. Oh, <laughs> it's Cindy. <laughs> That's funny. This is cute. I wonder if it is a wind up or not. Oh, no. Maybe. I don't know. I really know nothing about watches, but this is cute. Isn't it super, super dainty? Yeah. He works sometimes on, on Saturdays, which is unfortunate because I like sometimes going to estate sales with him. That's fun. But sometimes our estate sales get crazy. Um, I went to one today and it was just mobbed and uh, it was just too much. I got really um, anxious and I had to leave. So, uh, a monogram, WDD. There's no markings or anything. It's pretty. But I don't I don't know. Wilma? Walter? WDD seems like it would be hard initials to find people with. Hello, Miss Raven. I'm going to really try tomorrow to take photos and list things so that I can clean my house because I have stuff everywhere. It's insane. Aren't these so pretty? I love these, like, like you can hear it, these, like, glass. I have, I don't know. I don't sell watches. I think Thelma, Thelma knows a good amount about watches. I don't. I know nothing. So honestly, I will probably auction them off when I do the um, MSP auction. There's a little heart necklace. I love, I love old glass beads. It's a little tarnished. It's cute, though. Yeah, see, I know nothing. I know nothing about them. I don't know which ones are the good ones and which ones aren't. It's just a little cheapy. 
This is like plastic. And then this one was signed Joan Rivers. So if you guys don't know what the Joan Rivers one looks like, it just is a little hang tag that literally just says Joan Rivers. So these are cute though. They look like Lucite, little Lucite, almost faux amber beads. I love David Bowie. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It likes it now. Like, what is it, honey amber or something like that? Yeah, you like you like David Bowie too, don't you, Thelma? You like um some of that classic rock what I kind of grew up listening to with my mother. I know I have a lot too. That's why I'm just probably going to do it at the auction. Let's see though. There's tape in here and I really don't want to use my mouth because normally I would just tear this with my teeth. I know Selma really likes the wind-up ones. Oh, I'll just use this brooch. Yes, I believe I am doing it. Oh, that 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 would be fun. I have a record player, but um, it's not a very great one, and I don't know how to troubleshoot it. Although my brother. Um, he's, he's pretty handy at, at all of that stuff and really understands vinyl and that. I really don't. Um, we did have a record player, player and an 8-track growing up, believe it or not. But I don't, I don't remember using it that much. So this is cute. I like all kinds of music though. I like some of the stuff my daughter listens to. I like some new new stuff. Um, I just like really like music. I really like going to concerts, but I don't like the crowds. Um, kind of going in one in the same but that's why I like to go to concerts where you have seats because <laughs> then you don't have to deal with like mosh pits and stuff but those are always more expensive this is really pretty actually all right there's no I bet Thelma we probably get along there too. share some some music. Oh, there we go. My daughter and I are always ashamed to admit that we both like Justin Bieber. How pretty is this one? Hey, is your, um, you still on vacation, Anna? I like that one a lot. That one's really pretty. This one's a little bit um, less heavy. Oh, my camera really likes this one, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> one of the thrift stores, they had this necklace that said, I love Justin Bieber. And my daughter told me I couldn't get it for her. <laughs> I would have. That's why I kind of like getting these, because sometimes you'll find crazy things like that in here, like the Adam Ant uh, uh, pin that I found is really strange. Adam Ant, it's pretty random. I know my first concert, technically, that I ever saw 
was Paul Revere and the Raiders. You think so, Selma? Because you think he's gonna like become a classic or something? Or because you think he's, you know. Do you have him, Justin Bieber on the uh, death pool? <laughs> yeah, he did just get married recently. Not to Selena Gomez either, because he was dating her. And I also really like Selena Gomez's music. Oh, cool. You'll have to uh, send me photos. I always forget to look and I forgot to turn on notifications. So if I don't see you when you message me, that is why. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out the best way to attack this. There's. Oh, this is actually kind of a cute spin on this. Do you see the little, like, either droplets or bugs on these, on the branch? That's cute. That's cute. But my first concert that, like, we paid for, because the Paul Revere and the Raiders was a free concert. This guy's broken. No cabochon in it. Um, was Tom Petty. So I was pretty, pretty, pretty bummed when Tom Petty passed away. I've seen him in concert a couple times, and he's always really good in concert. Hmm. I love Journey, actually. And, uh, Sticks. I really like sticks for some reason. And yes. So this is an old Monet. And they put one of those magnetic clasps, clasps in there. Why scary? <laughs> or was that like the name of the tour? My mother saw Pink Floyd, and I was always jealous. I'd love to go see them. Well, not anymore, but, you know, when they were touring. Yeah, when Plant and Palmer came around, that was crazy expensive. I wonder what the most expensive concert I've been to was. Lady Gaga was pretty expensive. This one is not silver or anything. Just a cross. But Gaga was awesome. And so was Garth Brooks. And also saw Carrie Underwood. She was great. Yeah, we're all jealous of the Led Zeppelin. So my grandmother would always tell me stories about how she saw Elvis. She always loved Elvis. <laughs> I'm trying to sit here, understand what is going on with these, because these are earrings. I'm like, why are they attached? But it's a set. So the earrings are attached in the... Uh, I don't remember what these kind of things are called because my brain is escaping me. Um, I'm always astonished by the good ideas people have to put jewelry together. What a good idea is that, though? To put them in the clasp like that. We're just talking about Elvis. I mean, people must love Elvis. All his stuff still sells, doesn't it? Um, 
I went to a yard sale the one day and uh, this lady was she had a whole bunch of Elvis memorabilia like a ton Elvis wine and all kinds of stuff posters clocks My daughter, she's just funny. She has always hated Michael Jackson, like hated him. I don't know why, but she just never liked him. Oh, that's awesome. I bet she'd be great to see. This uh, has numbers. So it's like one, I don't know. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a roulette table. I don't know, it's kind of cool though. And it goes up to a spring ring clasp. Kiss. <sighs> I never really liked Kiss that much. I'm trying to get you guys to see this one. Oh, Prince would have been great. They, I was watching something where they had, like, all the best Super Bowl performers. And, like, everybody kind of agrees that Prince was, like, one of the best shows. I didn't realize, so, um, how good Bonnie Raitt was until she did the Grammys. She did a B.B. King song. And I love B.B. King. Um, and she's great at playing the guitar and everything, too. I was very impressed. Huh. This is Monet, too. It's not in the best sh shape, though. This is probably the actual, one of the worst shaped Monets I've ever seen, and it's not that hideously bad. Red Hot Chili Peppers. That'd be fun, too. I love music. That's really one of my favorite things. All right. This one says stuff. Oh, let's see. Maybe, maybe my... Oh, can you guys read it? It's probably backwards, isn't it? Looks like hand, hand, something, S-W-A, and U-E-G-I-O. Yo, I don't know what that says. It's really cool, though. I don't think it belongs on this thing, but that's cool. T E N N hand or hand W A G ten U E and then something T N N. I've never heard of any of that before, but it's pretty cool. Hi Jill. Oh my goodness, I bet. There's lots of marijuana smelling <laughs> at the Tom Petty concert. Let's see, this is the most memorable concert you went to. Mine's a weird one. It is seeing Godsmack. I don't know if you guys know who Godsmack is. They're like an alternative band. This had a kink in it. After 9-11, it was like two weeks after. And we were all just really like still raw and angry. And their music's really hard and like 
you know, hardcore and, um, so it was like a really cathartic concert and everybody was like, I don't know, everybody felt it. I was there with my brother and we still talk about it. And I guess they were here not too recently and gave an interview and we're talking about that concert. Um, so that was probably, I thought it was going to be awful. I didn't want to go. And it was a great experience, actually. Hi, Lucy. Do you miss Raven? I love Godsmack. I actually, I really like um, alternative music a lot. Like I listen to Slipknot. I like Slipknot. Um, Jimmy listens to a lot of heavy metal, but then he also listens to a lot of like girl bands. So it's one or the other. That's crazy. A red helicopter, huh? It'd be fun to be rich enough to have a helicopter. So this is like all glass. There's no clasp or anything. It's really fall colors here too, I think. You know, poor Nickelback. They take a lot of heat, I think. They get a lot of hate. I don't know why. Here, let's see. Oh, there we go. I liked it for a second. There we go. This is really long. I think it's cute. So <laughs> ACDC gives me a headache. I do, you know, I didn't want to like Metallica in concert. I went to go see them. But they're really good in concert. Like, they're amazingly good in concert. Uh, this is really cute. Reminds me of Vanessa. How cute is that? It's enamel. Uh, hello, Jill. Uh, welcome. I see you relate, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I never think about re-repeating things because uh, I just get in the groove of talking about stuff. Uh, this one was a bag. I did not weigh this one. I don't know if anyone cares or they don't care about how much things weigh. I bet some people do and some people will not. Um, it was 10 bucks. So, and I'll show you why I bought it was the one amber necklace was this. So I saw this in there and they had a lot of like vintagey things. And, you know, a lot of times they get a lot of donations from the same person. So it's like, whatever, we'll take a chance for 10 bucks. But I was getting really anxious at this one. This one says Avon. It's really cute. Um, I like this. Avon's actually really cute. It's in such good condition here, too. Um, a lot of mine are more expensive. I have... Like, so I have one right here, and this one's 10 pounds. This one is 30 bucks. Um, it's huge. I mean, 30, it was 40 bucks. Um, these ones are usually 30. This one was more expensive. The lady said because there was good stuff in there. Um, so I guess we'll see. But it depends on where you get stuff. Um, so we have different places that have have them. Um, we have multiple Goodwills that have bags sometimes, not always. So, um, and some of our Salvation Armies do, and some don't. Um, so you just never know. This is really cute. And this is heavy. 
Um, the lady said there was stuff that had been there for a while. There's no name or anything on this. Here, I'll show you guys the back. It's kind of neat. Um, this Goodwill really didn't have a lot. I think both of them didn't really have a lot of bags. And then just recently, they've kind of just started getting them. So, I don't know. I would just say keep checking. And ask, because some people have asked them, um, and then they start. Ah, oh, this says Korea. I knew it said something. Yes. But, like I said, it's going to be really hard for me to take photos now. Because it'll get really dark here really soon. And that is not going to be fun. I have heard that some of the Goodwills, like ours said that they're going to stop doing so much online. And focus more on the stores. Because they have actually opened new stores around here. Actually, a few new stores. And... Uh, I think that's part of it. I think they realize kind of how much time it takes to list stuff online and research, and they had special people that would do it um, and to package it and all that stuff. So. All right, I, I'll need to try that because the lighting that I have is just not good enough. This is really cute. There's a little hang tag here. It's 1928, and sorry about my nails. I really need to redo them, but I am so lazy with them. I should just go, go get them done with my daughter. I know, I was trying to do some research to see if, like, a ring light or like because i got some other lights too and i don't know they just weren't bright enough for the jewelry so i don't know how cute is this one though the little thingies it's supposed to look like the french jet i think um because it's the 1928 brand not the 2028 brand which means it is cuter there's no faces in this one though guys Sorry. Oh, well, there's this. It was a pumpkin. It's made in China. I think it's a pumpkin. You know, it's probably supposed to look like a sugar cookie, maybe? You guys think? I don't know. I get them in my stores. Um, I also, I have a backlog of them, guys. Because I grab them whenever I see them. So, may or may not have a problem. I don't think it's ceramic. It seems, I don't know. Like, it's not, maybe, I don't know. It's not plastic. It's probably ceramic. You're probably right. Oh, well, we get that here, too. Seasonal affective disorder. All right. This is pretty. Stainless steel back. It looks like it says Hallmark. Yeah, I like the 1928 stuff. Let's see. Isn't this cool? I swear it says Hallmark. But it says stainless steel back. But the watch band is really nice. Looks like... 
I don't know if there's the black is missing there or what. Yeah, I just try to take a vitamin D supplement. I don't like winter sports. <laughs> I mean, I probably should, but I do not. Oh, this one is a wind up. I don't know. It's just that it looks like it says Hallmark, not Quartz. I don't know if it works, though. Yeah, I, it does make a difference. It really does. Oh, I thought this was really cool, guys. I hope. Oh, yeah, I think it might like this. So I don't know if you guys have heard about floating opals, but I think this is supposed to kind of look like a floating opal. It's a pendant. It doesn't say anything, but I really like this. Yeah, some people go tanning, but, like, I don't believe in tanning beds. I think it's, well, I mean, I believe in it. They exist, but I think they're bad for you. But it is helpful. I know. So this has adventurine in it, which is, like, copper. And it looks like it's got opal in it to look like that vintage Floating opal. It's really cool. I love this. Yeah, I think it's mineral oil. Yeah, with the and they like just float. That's on my to get list, but that'll do for now. Until I find one. It's just one of those really cool things that I always liked. It's not a real one. It just it just looks like one. You should Google it because they're really cool. But a lot of times when you find them, they don't have liquid in them anymore. So it's just this little brooch. I'm like a little curled over. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I need to open some of these. But tomorrow is like like everyone's on on tomorrow. So I figured I would come on tonight. Oh, from Holland. How exciting. I wish I would I wish I spoke other languages. Like I said, I only a tiny bit can speak and understand Spanish. Some days I'm happy that I know English. So there's little clip-on earrings that match that brooch. Those are cute. No name. What time would it be in, in Holland then? Probably be, is it early or late? <laughs> so bad at time zones. Yeah, yeah. No, I, actually going to a tanning bed does help as well. These, they're both. Unmarked. Oh, yeah, Jill, Google that. Um, this does not want to show. Oh, there we go. Isn't it cute? It looks like marcosites, but it's not. They're like the same size. So they're like, these are actually, ooh, cute. Yeah, 10, 10 bucks. 
And these were smaller than some of the other 10 bucks, $10 ones I have. All right, here's another one. I think it also says stainless steel. It's got a safety clasp and a rollover. This one, don't see what it says. Also wind up, but I don't know if it works. But these are just so cute. Like, they almost just seem like they could be fa fashion pieces, you know? Looks like you could almost just read it, but I can't. I have no idea. I'm probably never going to learn how to do that. That's why I'll just keep selling them. <laughs> this one's neat. Stretchy. But it's like wood and stone. I don't know what's stone. Well, and some people are good with fixing, fixing the latches too, so. Tinkers. This one is marked Trifari. It's just, almost looks like a shell. Oh, that's, yeah, that's also a good reason. I actually kind of like the way the back looks more than the front. That's, I figure, you know, there was a couple things in there and then everything else is kind of gravy. So if you find the two things that you pay that money for, then it's like everything else is just a bonus. This one has a really strong magnet to it. It's super strong. So I have this tangled mess. There's nothing really special there. I, know, I almost think they'd be so cute just to wear the, the little watches like that. These are nice, actually. They're just plain, but they're like heavy brass bangles. These are cute. They're not marked or anything, but they're cute. So I'm trying to put together stuff for the auction. So if you guys have any ideas on things you think would go, well, let me know. Or anything you look for. I have so much stuff I'm just trying to kind of like clean out. So, so that I can, we can actually eat dinner at our table. These are cute. They go with that necklace. They are also Joan Rivers. I just sold a Joan Rivers egg necklace. Oh, that would be so fun. I love the chatelaines. They're cool. A leaf. There's always a leaf brooch. Always. I don't see any markings on this one. This must be the watch one. There's like one on a pendant here. It is not, not a sterling one or anything. Just one of these. <laughs> J 
still. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can list a lot of things too, but I, I don't know. I just have so much stuff. I have so much, but I can't stop buying them. This is cute. I do have the other one. It's addictive. It really is. It's a sickness. I need a club. But then my husband won't say anything because about, you know, I'm bringing him on cat pens. So I'm feeding his addiction as well. He just wants to be able to eat dinner on the table. Um, the blue one. I don't know what it was. I think it might have been coral. This is just a shell, stretchy. Oh, it likes the shells. Rule. <laughs> Although I don't know that I would really want to join it. I mean, would you want to join it? <laughs> I almost don't want, you know? I'm going to be able to buy nice jewelry. These are, nah. They're not great quality. Does anyone do it? Like, do these do anything? These, like, paper beaded things? See? They're very lightweight. I don't know if they sell. I don't know. They're probably going to go in my donate pile. I'm almost done, guys. Oh, I've made them. I, I think they're fun to make. AJM. <laughs> You're not the only one. Oh, this poor baby. People always donate these. But this baby is probably from the 70s. The baby is probably like 50 now. See how many single earrings we have in the bottom. Not too many, actually. These are really pretty. They're very dainty. Oh, by something where? Is she live? Or is, is it a um, recorded video? <laughs> I know, but I'm scared to join. That would mean I actually have to stop. <laughs> I actually, I was doing that today, too. That was one of the other things I was doing today. Replacing rhinestones. Now, the real hard thing is ordering the correct size rhinestone because that was an expensive mistake and i never follow my own advice measure twice buy once that is an expensive mistake to make but one i will probably continue doing because i know myself Little teeny tiny simple Monet. Like 
little posts. Those are cute, huh? They're just like the little, little balls. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as I don't, I don't have to quit or get help that I'm in. <laughs> I'm okay with just acknowledging I have a problem. I know I have a problem. And then I'm like, oh, I won't get any more. I don't need any more bags. I have a million at home. What do I need more bags for? And then I come home with two more bags. Oh, she's probably got something she's watching. She's really good at, at that. These are marked nap Napier. They're kind of simple. It's marked on the back. Blue hoopies. Hoopies. Oh, really? I need like a bunch of little teeny tiny, like a couple different sizes of little teeny tiny clear rhinestones. There you go. Oh, really? You like, like Napier a lot? I have a lot of it. For some reason, that's not my thing. You know, we all seem to be drawn to something different, which is probably for the best. This one's Coro. So I probably have enough of these now to make another bracelet. So I think I might do that. Those like prayer things. These are interesting. I've been coming up across a lot of Brighton lately. <sighs> no, but that's a really good idea. I just had my husband's friend give me a micrometer so I can measure. Adam, you already got 300 subs. Awesome. How exciting is that? I think there are, I think there are things like that. I would check like Stone Mountain or something. Mike. You're Mike too, right? I get like I don't, I get so scared to call people by their name if, in case I'm wrong, but then I'm just calling you, you're like crazy, <laughs> which just seems weird. Yeah, I got a, like, kind of real micrometer. My husband's like, that's probably like a hundred dollar micrometer. Look at it's a little teeny tiny cameo. You guys probably can't even see this. Teeny tiny. Hey, you just oh, that's because it comes with this guy. I I can fix that. Yeah, I think, is it, or Fire Mountain Gems, I think that's what it is. I would check one of those places. I don't think I've ever seen it at Michael's. But you never know. I don't think these have matches, but since I got other ones, I will probably try to keep that. And then the last one are these. Which these are prong set and the stones look really nice. Oh, but they're not foiled backs. I was gonna say I would steal the stone, but they're not foiled. When they're not foiled, it's kind of like there's no point. 
Yeah, I always go for the more expensive, honestly. Um, the more expensive rhinestones go for the Swarovskis because sometimes you can really see the difference if you use a really cheap rhinestone. So just make sure that you get a good quality one. Or else they'll look a lot different. Um, but yeah, I need to get a lot of the little small ones because I have a lot of things that I need to replace that have like clear, tiny rhinestones. But I always make sure I get the Swarovski. There's another one. Um, I can't recall what it is. But I am also in a, another group on Facebook that's like vintage. Let me see. I'll actually look at what the name is because it's actually a very nice very nice group. Let me see. And I would suggest you guys find it. Uh, restore, repair, repurpose, vintage costume jewelry. Um, it's a closed group, so you'll have to ask to join, but um, they know a lot of that kind of stuff and have files on fixing things. So a lot of times if I don't know how to do something, I'll post it in there. And I've even had people offer to um, help me find things or um, I had this one necklace where one of these really old glass cabochons were um, shift and I needed a new one and it was like a Czechoslovakian cabochon and they found where they were selling it and I ordered the piece and that was awesome. So they're very helpful in that group. That was awesome. I really, we don't, I mean, nowhere really sells the pointed back rhinestones anymore. You can't really get them at Michael's. You can't get them from Hobby Lobby. You can't get them from Joanne's. So it's getting harder and harder to try to replace your rhinestones. And even the places that we have here that do beading and stuff, they don't have rhinestones either. So. I wish there was some place that I could go to bring the piece and make sure something fits before ordering it. So um, here, I'll type it in now. Everybody is, uh, that's one of those ones that everybody is really nice. Um, I wouldn't suggest a group on Facebook unless everybody is very nice in it. But that one's a great group, and they have files in there that will tell you, you know, uh, when we've talked about what glue to use and all of that stuff. I do. I usually try to buy um, new old stock from um, online. And then I don't know if you guys are in my other favorite Facebook group. I mean, you guys know about the other ones that Tanya has and everything, but um, this is my other favorite group. Um, if you guys aren't on that one. And then, of course, I also have one. And it is this. But since um, Tanya did hers, 
um, where she was going to do auctions as well. I think I might just change the name of, the, of mine and only do the Etsy because, you know, there's groups out there for Poshmark and there's groups out there for eBay. Um, but there's really not, in my opinion, very many out there for Etsy sellers. So, you know, sometimes we have questions that are specific to Etsy that I think um, I would like to have answered. But, you know, you don't always get everybody that knows how to sell it in different groups. So I'm hoping to grow that one a little bit to make it useful for us to um, share tips and things, especially with the change to the search engine optimization on Etsy, see, you know, what kinds of things are getting big hits on Etsy. Um, I know one of the things that for me had a lot of searches, which I was kind of surprised about was um, Heart of the Ocean. So I had this blue Avon necklace that looked like the Heart of the Ocean, you know, from the movie Titanic. And that got a lot of searches and a lot of hits. And I was kind of surprised about that. Yeah, I do have, so I have some videos on how I repaired um, the glue that I normally use is the hypo cement. I would use the E6000 on something that has a really heavy cabochon. So something like a glass heavy cabochon. Um, but for rhinestones, I use GS Hypo Cement. It's spelled like this. Um, and part of the reason is because I've glued things in before and wasn't happy with the look of it. If you use E6000, you're not getting that rhinestone out. So if you put it in there and for some reason it shifted, because sometimes if it's not completely flat or, you know, where you're gluing it into can be a little tipped and the rhinestone might move and you want to get it out so that you can um, re put another one in there. You can't get it out if you use the um, E6000. You might have to crush it. Um, and that's where you actually crush the stone out, which I don't, I haven't ever had to do yet. Um, or soak it and I know people soak there as an acetone. Sometimes if you have like a a metal, it's just metal. Yeah, I, I think the chat usually stays up um, for the video. I don't normally do anything special. I think there's some kind of option somewhere where you can disable the chat, but we're not talking about anything crazy. So <laughs> I don't think it's anything where, you know, I would disable it because people are getting out of control. So, <laughs> um, and they should have those at Michael's or Joanne's and you can download their apps or um, search online for coupons too. So I always do that. I've ordered from Jan's Jewels before, but it can be really difficult to find the size that you need. So, um, jewelry nurse, I've done that too. Like I just recently, when I ordered the wrong size, um, because I needed tapered baguette rhinestones and I bought the wrong size, I bought a mixed lot of crystals. And I should have actually bought more because I just used some today and it came, came in handy. So yeah, anytime you guys have questions about stuff like that, or, you know, you want to share something, let me know. I really want to get back into fixing things and kind of showing you guys how to do things. Um, but I'm still kind, kind of learning too. But a lot of the simple things, it's like if you guys have something, and, and I know some, I've probably done some of it, but it can't hurt to show, show you more than once. Um, so I don't want to do like, I'm not going to do one, a video on Amber cause I'm not there yet, but hopefully one day I will to be able to, 
to know how to test that. Um, I was talking to a lady that I know who is a jeweler and uh, she said, you know, the way that they do it is with the hot needle test. And that's where you heat up a hot needle and you poke someplace. Usually if it's, if it's something like this, you would poke it somewhere that's near, you know, where it's strong and see how it smells. And I guess it's got more of a piney, piney smell to it if it's real amber. But yeah, I'll try to do a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I am really <laughs> not the greatest at doing that yet. The restringing. The restringing is hard. Um, it's not hard until you are finishing it. And then at the end, being able to, you know, string it. And uh, yeah, the salt water test I've done. But the thing is, on uh, you know, you can... It really is not great for things that are strung because the salt on, you know, this cord can really break it. And plastic has uh, static electricity too, so you can get um, false, false positives. So I like to restring. I just don't like to finish it off at the end. So the last time I did it, I brought it to um, a bead place and have them help me finish it off at the end. So, oh, that would be great. Cause I just said, you know, it's, is there, Miss Raven, you should do a video then because that's the part that I have the hardest time with. You know, starting it I'm fine with, um, the beating it I'm fine with, it's really just the finishing it at the end that I have a hard time with. Yeah. I hope you find some nice stuff in there and it's not, well, it brings back good memories. I, I have some of my grandmother's stuff and every once in a while it's kind of mixed in with other things. And, you know, I think it makes me happy when I go through my grandmother's stuff. So, yeah, I would love to see that because honestly, I think, you know, somewhat sometimes there can be videos on the same topic on YouTube, but sometimes either you need to hear it a couple times before you get it or the way somebody explains it you don't get it. And then when somebody else says <laughs> almost the same thing, you get it. So um, I think there can never be too many videos on things on YouTube, obviously. I mean, we're all doing, <laughs> doing jewelry jars and we're all still having fun, I hope, watching them, so. Oh, you're opening a shop online? Or um, like a real shop, like at, where you live. Not that an Etsy store or any other an eBay store isn't a real store, but you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I uh I like I like restringing with the wire. I so the reason why I was, I, I had um, coral. So I had a coral, like a branch coral necklace. And here, I had a branch coral necklace and I just, I like to make things when they're vintage to look as much, you know, as possible look like they looked before. So it had been strung on like red silk cord. So I just, I wanted to, to put it on there. Now my lighting's a lot better, I think, because I kicked, kicked my lamp out a little bit, but um, awesome. I think I said show it, so hopefully, hopefully it's there. 
All right, guys, I am going to clean up this mess and get to bed. Hopefully my husband is not snoring or anything when I get up there, but he very rarely snores. Um, it's me. I'm the snorer. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm usually shopping when Angie is on, but I have a feeling hopefully I'm going to try to be home um, taking photos and listing things on Etsy. So hopefully I can get some new things up there. Yeah, I hope so. And I have a couple videos to edit and I have, have a couple more that I'd like to film. Um, but again, I think there can't be too many out there. And I, Cindy, I like the way that you, um, like when you did the thing where you were talking about glass and crystal beads. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that meant. Um, you know, I think it's cool that it's educational. I love that. So, all right, guys. Wonderful. Thank you for joining me. I think this was good. I like this. I really love this guy. Um, and the Joan Rivers was nice. And Jimmy got Jimmy got a cute little cat pin. He's got one. I think that's pretty similar but it doesn't have the fish that are orange. So this one um, has some really cute things. So for $10, it's hard to go wrong. If they raise it up, we'll see. I don't know if I'll be getting them anymore, but uh, otherwise I will see you guys in my next video. I'll have one up for you guys again soon, I hope. Bye guys.